Welcome back to our beautiful show, The Yaba TV Show. I am your host, Yesia. So we have an interesting show for you today, really interesting. You need to get ready because this, I promise you, you're going to love it. Our topic is operating a family business. We'll get to find out how, where, and when. So my guest on today's show is Robel Afawaki and Adalia Afawaki. We are going to speak to them. They're going to tell us exactly what they are doing in the community, and I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, the Afawaki family, welcome to the show. Thank, thank you, Thank you, CSCN. Thank you for the opportunity as well. You're welcome. I'll start with you, Robert. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Robert Afawaki. I mm -hmm. immigrated to America in the early 80s. I'm from Eritrea, and I'm a proud Eritrean American. Mm -hmm. I went to school here starting in seventh grade. Uh, through high school to local, all in Long Beach. I graduated from uh, Cal State Long Beach mm -hmm. uh, with a civil engineering major in 1994. Then I had a master's in 1997. Mm -hmm. In 1991, I interned at the Port of Los Angeles, which is part of the city of, uh, of Los Angeles department. Yes. I worked there for three years as a student, you know, learning the, the ins and out of what to be, how to become an engineer. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to the Bureau of Engineering and I had a fantastic experience learning with City of LA Bureau of Engineering, working with all the department. And then when the port was expanding with a 500 acre terminal, mm -hmm. uh, they asked me to come back and I was uh, glad to come back. The skill set that I gained uh, with the Bureau was fit right with the Port of LA. Mm -hmm. And I spent uh, from 2000 to uh, about 15 years in the design side, mm -hmm. and then another, you know, 10 years up to now, and continuing in the construction side. Mm -hmm. So working on various uh, projects that you learn in school, mm -hmm. uh, applied within the city program. So wow, it's a lot of experience. That's commendable. Make Africa proud. <laughs> yes. I like that. Thank you. Yes, Adalia, please tell us a little bit. Hi, I'm said. Adalia. I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior. Um, I go to Mary Star High School in San Pedro, California, and I'm a strong believer of Christ. Um, basically, about me, I'm a very intrigued in business and becoming an entrepreneur. I plan to study that um, in college, along with get my MBA. Um, what intrigued me at a young age of pursuing my business career is selling clothes online, and I've been doing that for about five years along with interning at The Finding um, and being a current Girl Scout for about five years has really instilled leadership skills in me and shaped me to be the woman I am today. Ah, I like that. Yeah. To be the woman I am today mm -hmm. at 16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like yep. that. Yes. So working with your dad as a small business mm -hmm. entrepreneur, what, mm -hmm. do you ex what experience do you gain? What do you... What do you like most about working with your dad as a family business? Mm -hmm. What I like most about working with my dad is patience, obviously, mm -hmm. and being disciplined and time management, of course. Um, managing my time wisely, as my dad always um, emphasizes to me, time is most important. Um, breaking up my time and, in reality, working with him in business has helped my time management, helped my procrastination and my discipline as a mm -hmm. woman. I like that, my discipline. Mm -hmm. So, Robo, um, I know sometimes it's a challenge raising a family and working full time, but you're able to balance it so well. As an engineer with the city, tell us what is your experience with the city? Yeah, with the city of LA, I would say it's one of the best. You know, you come right out of college, the city has various, you know, if you're as a civil engineer, mechanical, electrical, mm -hmm. you have all the field and they have everything standardized and you have people with many years of experience. Mm -hmm. So you have your uh, you know, theory that you've learned from school, then you get into the practical world, and they take you under their wing, mm -hmm. you know, step by step. Uh, and that's why the city of LA is one of the greatest city, you know, it has many the department, and you feel like you're in the world of Disneyland, mm -hmm. you know? I like uh, that. And then it's a best industry where there's things are made and then it's the best university, a combination of those. You're learning, you're working, and you're having fun, mm -hmm. working on various uh, projects. I mm -hmm. worked on wastewater, six years, designing pump station, major sewer. Uh, and then when I came with the port, we built one of the biggest terminal, uh, working with the Army Corps of Engineers, you know, with great thinkers back in, in the 80s that had a 2020 program mm -hmm. and made the, the port what it is. 
So there's a legacy, and all we're doing is they pass the baton to us, and now it's uh, to carry on to carry on the torch to the mm -hmm. next generation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What made you both, as a family, you, 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 it's not just two of you, the whole family yeah. is establishing yeah. a business. Yeah. What inspired you to want to establish your own business on the side and someday it's going to be bigger? Yes, and it's, it's in the fabric of the America. Mm -hmm. You know, you could become who you want to be, strive, reach your goals if you work hard. One, the foundation education. The foundation is a family. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, thanks to God, both on my uh, wife's side, on my side, we have creative talent. On my wife's side, they have three generations of professional photographer. Mm. And my wife is, uh, and her blood is business. Mm. You know, and on the other side, you know, I'm an engineer. It's more, sometimes engineers, we have a handicap into business. So it's a blend of the two uh, end, you know, the left thinking, the right thinking. Mm -hmm. So we have both sides and, you know, thanks to God. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of work. Uh, in my country, we say if it comes from the Bible, a person uh, uh, plans, God completes. Or say in, in my language, Sevi Hassib, is God here fits him. When I came to America, they told me, oh, we, we say it, a person proposes, God disposes. Say That's, it in your language again slowly. Sevi Hassib. Sevi Hassib. Is God here if it's him. Is God here is God. Is God here? If it's him, it means he completes. Oh my so God. So do not worry about... <laughs> African language is so beautiful. Yes. Sometimes uh, the, the accent, you can't get it exactly, but if you say something else, it means something different. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when I said that to an American, he laughed at me. I translated it directly the way. He says, mm -hmm. no, we say a person proposes, God disposes. Mm -hmm. And that's Wonderful. the corner store of our family. Mm -hmm. You know, have a plan, but God will complete it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. We're going to need to take a quick break to acknowledge our sponsors. When we come back, we will continue our dialogue with the Afawaki family. So don't miss this moment. They have a lot to share with you today. Be back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome back to our beautiful show, the Yaba TV show. I am your host, Yasir. So today we are talking to the Afawaki family, originally from Eritrea, Eritrean Americans, and they have a small business on the side. The dad is an engineer with the city, and the family is putting together a business that one day I think is going to be one of the biggest art work, art show in Los Angeles. So at this time I have a question for Adalia. Tell us, what is DAFA? DAFA is, stands for Daughter and Father Artwork. It ori originated in 2019. Me and my father exhibited our artwork to ultimately showcase the bond between fathers and daughters, even daughters and mothers, sons and fathers, or even um, fathers and daughters as well. All right. What, do you, what was going through your mind to establish DAFA with your daughter? It's, uh, you know, I'm a strong believer in working with your kids because they're the, the future. And it's just like a seed. You got to, uh, you know, give it everything it needs, you know, from the light or what have you. Once you do that, you're going to reap the fruit. And the fruit is reaped by the person themselves and mm -hmm. the family. Uh, so, and we were, and it's just uh, an outlet. Uh, you know, sometimes life could be uh, stressful. You, it adds up a little flavor to, uh, to make things less stressful in life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. What is VEST? I know you mentioned about VEST. Yes, this goes in line. You know, my passion is working with youth. Uh, basically, it means a vision, experience, you know, uh, success, and then the teamwork. Uh, she has the vision. You know, young people have the vision. We, the parents, teachers, guardian, uh, others have the experience because of the age. So you combine vision with the experience mm -hmm. and ultimately you're going to have a success. But success comes with teamwork. So mm -hmm. my motto is do you have a vest? Mm -hmm. Make sure you have a vest mm -hmm. for Interesting. success. Interesting. So let's talk about uh, investing in the community. I know you, that's one of your passions. Yes. Tell us more. Yes, so a lot of what we did, in order to be able to be a business person, you have to learn from the pros. You know, you are one of them. You inspired us. Thank you. My uh, other daughter, she's at LME right now. Mm -hmm. She worked here under uh, Tom's leadership. Mm 
Yes. You know, a little that you you think it's it's a uh, not a big deal to to us to the to the young kid, it inspires them when they see a show like this. Tell us a little bit about this artwork that we're looking at. Yes. So uh, this the two at the end. It's to represent the the Fourth of July, the excitement, the celebration of America, mm -hmm. how to become from small to big, and that me and my daughter produced it because she was born on August eight. You know, there's eight stars, mm. you know, and then this is her artwork on this side. Mm -hmm. And then that's my artwork that's close to 30, 40 years old. Mm -hmm. And that's Yannick Nonoa, the tennis player from France. Mm. And this is a recent artwork that we exhibited at uh, Finding there in Long Beach with Annette and her team. Wonderful lady, the guardian of angels that com com contribute to the community. And that's where my kids uh, volunteer. So we produced that. They had a great um, uh, showcase. This is an eagle. An eagle is the symbol of America. Yes. And the eagle welcomes you. An eagle could go so high from low to this. Mm -hmm. That's becoming an entrepreneur or a, a creative person. It's a symbol that you could soar as high as you can. Mm. The sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. And it's titled Blinds Love. Blinds Love. Yes. I love it. Nice. What do you think? What's going through your mind as you see all this unfolding? You start from little and the different artworks that you guys have done. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind? Um, ultimately, I see art as subjective. Art is not something that should be perfection. Mm -hmm. It's more of something as an outlet, something to express yourself, not something to be perfect and complex, although art can be. I think individuals nowadays should use art as an outlet to express themselves, embrace their differences and everything. Tell us, Adelia, where can they find you? People that are interested to catch up with you, connect with you, where can they find you? If you're interested in working with me, you can email at amanit1391 at gmail.com, A-M-A-N-I-T 1391 at gmail.com, mm -hmm. or contact through phone number, which is 562-754-0646. All right, thank you, thank you mm -hmm. so much. Do you want to add one word to that to wrap it up? I just want to say thank you. We admire you. We adore you. Uh, my wife, Sable, uh, my son, the other daughter, they're not here. Uh, we're just amazed at what you do, and we want to see you succeed because you're a star of what a, an African and African-American is looking for. So do you have anything else you want to add to this? Uh, first, we just want to say thank you for this great opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a an amazing person. Uh, our family look up to you for what you have accomplished. One day we want to follow your footstep, but we have a little surprise uh, because uh, what you asked earlier uh, about America, well, the eagle welcomes everybody to America. Yes. This is the reason I call it blind. It's, you know, it goes back with many years. Mm -hmm. I had this idea and now it, look, it's going to turn. Oh my goodness. Wow, how awesome, <laughs> this is nice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adelia. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is nice, beautiful. My America, wow. Home of the brave, yes. land of the free. Is that correct? Home of the brave and land of the free. This is it. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, from my heart, I really do appreciate it. And then yes. my daughter has a little uh, gift from our family mm -hmm. to you. Thank you. Ah, nice. God bless. And this is God bless in your language? It's Amlah Ibarah. Amlah Ibarah. God bless. Yes. Ah, wow. I've learned something new today. Thank you for this. Thank I you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. See, I have a gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we do need to take a quick break to acknowledge our sponsors. When we come back, I'm sick and I can get over the gift and the surprise, but I'm thankful people acknowledge what I do. And from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate the Afro, Afro Wiki family. And so we do need to take a quick break to acknowledge our sponsors one more time. And then after that, we are taking you to Music Video Land. That's the place some of you take the time to thank me for bringing you the consciousness of Africa to your home. And today, we have another great music video. So relax 
we, as we bring you one of the best coming your way. Be back after these messages. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our television broadcast today. We are on every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on KCAL Los Angeles. If you're a regular viewer of our show, you know we'll bring you information that you can use. Today's show with the artwork that you see all around me is going to inspire you and if, if it's not already inspired you. So tell your friends about our show that Yaba TV comes your way every Sunday at 4 p.m. Follow us on Instagram, Yaba TV. Follow us on YouTube, Yaba Media. While you're there, like, share, and subscribe. But by the way, before I go, let me invite you to our Black History Festival coming up on February 3rd, 2024. It's going to be held at the Golden Sales Hotel in Long Beach. We're going to have cultural dancers from Senegal, Nigeria, and, and Ghana. And we're going to have African cuisine. Did I say African cuisine? Yes, a lot of great food. You don't want to miss this. If you haven't tried African meal before, you definitely want to come to Yaba TV Black History Festival. That's where it's happening. Fashion show, speakers. We're going to talk on the essence of black history. Why celebrate Black History Month? So we are all in for a treat. Tell every person you know about our upcoming Black History celebration. So till then, we'll see you next week. But before I go, don't forget, if you're in town for the first time, you want to connect with our international platform, contact us. If you're getting married or you have a special event and you want coverage on Yaba TV, contact us. Our phone number is 562-833-8294. Till then, we'll see you next week at the same time on the Yaba TV show, your contemporary bridge to the motherland, Africa.